suicide rate among construction workers is now three times the national average for men, equating to more than two workers taking their own life every day. Something Michelle Wiles experienced firsthand. In 2019, after a period of stress, her husband Chris took his own life. He'd come home, he, he just couldn't switch off. I noticed it when uh, he would just, just not sleep at night. And he just became withdrawn at home as well. Towards the end, he did become depressed and anxious. Mm -hmm. And what time frame was that? It wasn't over a long period of time. It was three months, literally. What would you recommend anyone doing quite early on if they're watching you having this conversation? Don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to tell someone that you're struggling. It is about starting that conversation, having the open conversation without feeling that you're a failure. I want people to feel much more confident that if they do reach out, it is okay before it gets too late. It, it, was, it was just too late with Chris. No other family should go through what we've been through or no one should go through what Chris went through. Mental health issues are so prevalent in the industry. I think the industry is very much driven by deadlines and if we don't hit it, um, effectively, that's costing the client money mm -hmm. and added to the fact that the guys are often away from home all week and they've got their wife at home maybe saying, well, can you come home? I've got problems with the children. And So it's not particularly just work, it's everything uh, yes, collectively? It's everything. Typically, 2.9% of construction workers will be injured at work, mm -hmm. whereas in the normal industry, it's 1.7%. And the reason they have more accidents, I believe, is, is linked to the, their mental health and, and the the difficulties they face. The capacity to function properly. Yes. Okay. If you recognise that one of your workers is struggling a little bit, yes. what are the things you put in place to help them? Probably the most uh, impactful thing we did was join Mates in Mind about three years ago and it teaches them to talk about mental health and to ask their peers to recognise the symptoms and talk to people about it. See, some people then, they're afraid to say to people about it and then it escalates and snowballs and gets worse and worse. Mates in Mind is a UK charity that is determined to address mental health issues in the workplace, particularly in the construction industry. It goes into companies and holds workshops designed to give team members a chance to voice feelings that until now they may have kept hidden. Things are definitely shifting and changing. However, we know they're going to speak to their colleague beside them and it's that person who's going to say, you know what, Ian's a bit off today, um, are you feeling okay? And what one thing we always say is ask twice, because the chances are, I say, how are you? you say, Fine. Exactly. <laughs> so we say, ask again. Yeah. Um, and it's that encouragement and that reinforcement that it's okay to talk that's really going to get them opening up. Yeah. It's about creating this supportive network and making sure they're not on their own to deal with it and have a plan in place for them.